Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the part one of Backlash 2017 preview, predictions, analysis, and full opinions. I'm WWE Movie Maker, and I will be talking to you about each individual match in each uh, segment in a separate video for each match. So, you know, there are about seven, I guess, six or seven matches on this card. I will have six or seven videos each talking about a separate matchup uh, for the predictions this Sunday. I feel like doing a separate one is better than sitting through a 30-minute preview because if you do not care about one match and you care about another, you go check that video out instead of watching the full video. And I think that's great, not just for me, but it's great for you guys and it's convenient. So before I get into the predictions preview, again, I want to reiterate, reiterate, man, Backlash this Sunday, 8 p.m. Eastern Time, it is taking place in Chicago, all state arena. All right, 8 p.m. Eastern to 11 p.m. It is going to be one hectic show, just like, just like NXT Takeover. Check out that uh, and those predictions that I also posted up on my channel. Check those out, man, and make sure you check out all my previous videos that I uploaded. Let's get right into the preview predictions. Match number one, we got the kickoff match, a match that I did not want to be on the kickoff. Tyler. Ty Dillinger versus Aiden English. Ty Dillinger, I feel like, is going to be a certified jobber at this rate. He is not being used correctly. He is being in this position where he's being on the kickoff, and that's going to piss a lot of guys off. And this may piss off a lot of guys too, but I'm going to say it right now. Quote this me. Quote this man. Um, Ty Dillinger is not going to be WWE champion one day. Not, I don't, you know, I don't see that happening. I mean, it's a possibility, right? But the possibility is very, very low. I don't see it happening. I mean, Jinder Mahal is one of those guys that, you know, is in number one contendership, uh, you know, spot. Who could possibly win? You know, it's a, th that swerve is easily likable, right? Um, but with a guy like Ty Dillinger, I don't, I don't see WWE thinking or seeing anything in him. I don't see... You see, I see things in him. I think I would love to see a different guy, but WWE doesn't see anything in him. And he looks like a mid-card talent. I don't think he'll ever reach that position, and it's unfortunate. So, I mean, he's on the kickoff show. Aiden English at this point, I don't even know, man. I think it's just a matter of time before this guy resigns and leaves. Um, you know, unless they have, unless SmackDown does their brilliance, uses their brilliance and, you know, levels somebody, you know, and, you know, really gives them the opportunity to show themselves, just like they did Jinder Mahal. Hopefully they do something with Ty Dillinger. But this is a kickoff show match. So, again, they don't have much for Ty Dillinger going on right now. Ty Dillinger's already beaten Aiden English twice. In a backlash, English will have one more chance to best the perfect 10. This is English's first solo storyline now that his former tag partner, Simon Gotch, left the company. We're getting to see a pre villains English from his early NXT days. Uh, I didn't see him in the early NXT days, so maybe he's good in that. Maybe we could see uh, him thrive in that position. I don't know, man. Uh, however, he's you know, still not back to singing his own entrance music. Uh, seeing as you know, Dillinger was already beaten, or has beaten English twice, it's a bit of a head-scratcher to see this match happen for her a third time. Now, Dillinger's already over, as you can hear the 10 chants. So the prediction here is Aiden English wins. Um, I mean, if this is going to be a legitimate feud, then I mean, I guess the feud, th th this is going to be the third match. I think after this match, you know, I think they might fade off a little bit. So this doesn't really matter. Ty Dillinger wins, sure. You know, Simon, so uh, what's his name again? Aiden English wins, sure. Um, if it's my prediction... According to the logic here, where he won twice and Aiden English hasn't won one match, I would say Aiden English, but I want Ty Dillinger to win. But I'm going to give you my prediction on who who is going to win, who I think is going to win. Not who I want to win, but who I think is going to win. It's Aiden English. All right, just looking at it, man. The guy's lost twice. He's going to have to win this Sunday. Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned for the next match. Part two of Backlash Preview Predictions is going to be up very, very shortly. Stay tuned.